Wow. This this is when you want to save money to avoid buying piston. This is this is a good way because when when the piston's running, it gets a little bit worn on these faces. So the the trick is you want to you can expand the metal by carefully tapping carefully tapping around. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, it's all right. Good. We can, we'll, we'll make a slipper piston anyway. We'll, we'll knock off all that. And um, because yeah, the you can get more revs if the um by saving weight. So we'll just break away that um, break away that aluminium. Yeah. So um now what you've got is a slipper piston, which is yeah less skirt and more revs for more speed, but also the ring grooves have got a little bit worn so we want to like close them up a little bit to, um, so the rings will be a bit tighter so carefully tapping around here you can close up the gaps and um, yeah, the compression's a little bit high in this motor too so we want to dish the piston a tiny tiny bit in the centre yeah, um, you might want to use a bigger handle for that but, um, more Dish set down. See, and you're getting a little bit of a dish there. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, it's dishing quite nicely, so just keep going. Oh, yeah, and, um, yeah, well, um, we'll put it in here so speed things up a little bit. The old micro cleaner. This is a piston micro peening tool for um, expanding the skirt. Just get a, a holding tool to hold on to this thing a bit better. It's a special piston holding plant. Yeah. And then, yeah, so there, there's the finished product. Mm -hmm.